Today I want to talk to you about modified versus pure sine wave inverters. This was a request from a viewer, so let's jump right into it. Uh, modified versus pure sine wave. This is the key right here, and these two are going to be very important. So let's go here first. What is an inverter? And that's a good question. What is an inverter? Well, the definition of inverter is a device that converts DC electricity from solar panels or batteries into AC for home appliances. So this is very important that we choose the right inverter and we understand what is a pure sine wave versus a modified sine wave. It's very important, especially with specific things like TVs, computers uh, in your house versus light bulbs and so forth. So the modified sine wave, as we're talking about, what is it? Well, let's talk about that. The modified sine wave is what approximates AC power with a stepped waveform, kind of like what you would see with the staircase. So this would be a stepped waveform, similar to a staircase. And let's talk about the pros and cons of this. So the pros are it's affordable. Uh, it works well with, key here, simple appliances like fans and lights. Guys, not computers, not DVD players, not your digital TV, but fans and lights, uh, drills, um, cutting saws, etc. The cons, <clears throat> this can cause a buzzing in electronics, this is not ideal for fridges or TVs. So that was the modified sine wave inverter. Let's jump into the pure sine wave inverter now. It mimics the exact smooth waveform of what? Grid electricity. It is the same thing that you would get from the grid, a beautiful, full sine wave. Not a stair-stepped or modified sine wave, but a beautiful, pure sine wave. Nice, beautiful, full waveforms. The pros of this it is compatible with all appliances. It will run on your sensitive electronics smoothly, no problems, and it's very efficient. The cons of this, well, it obviously costs higher. When you go to the store to buy this equipment, it comes at a higher price. Why? It's what's best. It's not cutting curves, it's not stair-stepped. It is the pure sine wave that you get as if you were buying uh, electricity through uh, the grid. Why is it higher? Well, it's higher because it is a more complex technology and it is better for your equipment. So it's going to save you in the long term because you're not messing up all of your equipment. Let's go forward. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the modified sine wave and the pure sine wave. Okay guys, so looking here at a side-by-side -side comparison, we can see here that we're going to look at the modified in this category and the pure sine wave in this category. First, we talked about the waveform and how the stepped waveform is okay for your drills, okay for your lights and your fans, but not your computers and sensitive electronics. Okay, this smooth, pure sine waveform is what we want. So again, the modified has a stepped Versus a pure sine wave, you'll see like this. <clears throat> the compatibility. Well, the modified is a very basic, again, for your drills, your fans, and so forth. Your pure sine wave is compatible with all appliances. The cost. 
Well, modified sine wave is lower. Where the pure sine wave, obviously we said comes at a higher cost because it is a higher technology. Okay, efficiency between the two. Another very important thing to look at, your modified sine wave is going to be very inefficient. It's less efficient. Versus your pure sine wave is going to be highly efficient. So this is what you want. Now, noise and interference. Guys, interference is never a good thing. If it's for light bulbs, if it's for fans, it again doesn't really matter. Sensitive equipment, it will affect that. So we want to pay close attention to this. The noise and interference is in effect uh, with modified sine waves. It can cause buzzing. Whereas with the pure sine wave, you have absolutely none. That's what you want is the pure sine wave. Let's move on. Okay, so now we've set the stage here between a modified sine wave and a pure sine wave. Let's look at some real life examples. The real life example here, part one is modified sine wave. It'll work with your fans, but not microwave, okay? It'll make your microwave buzz, and that's not good. The pure sine wave, the second, will work with all devices and it will operate smoothly. The conclusion here is clearly you want a pure sine wave that will offer better performance and that's better for your equipment. If it's not clear yet, let's talk about how you choose. Okay, the first step to how you will choose this, what are you going to use this inverter for? If it is purely for a fan, a drill, a, a, a light, then okay, a modified sine wave inverter will be fine, but realize it is only really for those purposes, okay? All right, reliability. Do you need reliability for sensitive electronics? If you do, if you're gonna use your TV, your computer, anything that's not a light or a fan, you are gonna to wanna to really make sure you have a pure sine wave inverter. Now, budget versus performance. We talked about budget and we talked about performance. Budget is going to be what? That's right. Budget is going to be your modified. Where your performance is going to be your pure sine wave. What's the difference? This one looks more stair-stepped. Pure sine wave, remember, it's beautiful and clean, just like the power from the light company. Just like the power out of my EG4 12,000 XP from Signature Solar. Wow, guys, if you don't have whole home backup, I would really take a look at that. With all the storms and things that are going on these days, you don't have to be without electricity, and your whole home can be supplied. Uh, link below if you want to save some money. All right, so what are we going to recommend to you? Clearly, I'm gonna recommend what's best for you, and ultimately what's gonna be best for you guys is going to be a pure sine wave inverter, okay? Uh, this is a serious uh, solar setup that we're talking about here. So pure sine wave is the key. These inverters are honestly the only, ways to, the only way to go. Remember, they're pure, they're clean, the power is going to be accepted and received by your device is not causing harm or malfunction. Okay, so what is the conclusion of this short teaching today? That a modified sine wave, it's cost effective. Uh, it'll work for a few things, lights, fans, drills, but that's about it. Versus the pure sine wave. The pure sine wave has unmatched performance, okay? Guys, thank you for joining me today on this uh, little teaching here. It was a request from a viewer. Thank you for requesting. If you guys have any requests, please send us a message, let us know, and we'd love to bring that to you potentially. Um, I wanna just give a few last things here real quick. I would like to invite you to come over and check out our website at solarhomesteadlife.com. 
We have great things there, teachings, information, and always, uh, we, part, we love Signature Solar. You've probably heard me talk about this before, but they have uh, sold us all of our equipment, our 6,000 XP, our 12,000 XP, uh, our server rack batteries. In fact, right now we have six server rack batteries, uh, the 48 volt, 100 amp hour, uh, LifePo 4 batteries, and we've just ordered three more to come in. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. So Signature Solar, there's a link below. You can take $50 off of your purchase today. Uh, actually, it's, it works any day, but $50 off, guys. Don't miss that. Doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel out a little bit, but it doesn't cost you a dime more. So click that, take $50 off your order today. Uh, we are an affiliate of Signature Solar. They don't, per se, sponsor the video. You know, pay us to do any of this. I want to do this to help you guys learn, but we are an affiliate with them. So when you click the link and you buy something, we get a small percentage. It helps the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime more. And we'd like you to share your experiences. Um, you know, what inverter do you use? Are you currently using an inverter? Are you considering an inverter? Please share below. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this. Please like, share, subscribe, and keep shining and stay charged. We'll see you again soon. If you have any recommendations of something you'd like to see, please mention it in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Take care.